Okay, here's a quick look at the HomeGuard Pro HD CCTV kit, which contains four cameras and one DVR. The DVR is here, as you can see. This particular model comes with a one terabyte hard drive, which should record at least several days in the highest setting, or even several weeks at the lowest setting, whatever setting you have. This model, as I said, comes with four cameras. Here's one of the cameras here. The cameras are not that small, but they fit in the rain. The rain the size of your hand. They come with a cable attached. The, the kit includes things such as your power supply. This particular one's for the box. You've got a separate power supply for the um, the cameras. It's a bit of a string setup instead of the box powering. Pairing the, the, the cameras as well, that, that's got to be independent, so this thing here with all the splitters on the end this, this, These connect to the cameras You get You get um, cable as well, I think it's 60 foot of cable for each camera Which is a reasonable amount, I mean it depends where, where you're going to set it up But you should be alright in most circumstances the cable itself is a, is a bit of a pain to install. I actually installed two cameras yesterday with two more to go. As you can see, the actual under the cables, they're really thick. And you also have this molded bit on the end. So you have to drill quite a big hole in the wall or wherever you're putting it. If you install it outside, then it is, I will say, it's quite difficult to install outside. Inside is probably not so difficult, but outside it probably will take you at least three, four, five hours if you're not, you're not that experienced. I mean, I, I probably spent at least three hours yesterday just doing two cameras. So just bear in mind, the best way, what, how I installed this yesterday, I actually I got some tape, this is insulation tape, masking tape. I actually taped one of these backwards and pinned it to that, like that, like that. So I taped the end there. I then got some metal wire this is just what garden wire by from garden centers and supermarkets etc and I then taped the wire to that and that and then pushed the thing through the wall I mean that, that's probably the easiest way to push it through a wall but what I would do I would tape all the ends of these up so they don't get damaged or get all dust in them and stuff so just bear in mind these are quite difficult to install to get through the wall once you're through the wall it's not too bad in terms of the cameras, they, they come with fixings and everything. You get some wall plugs and screws for the cameras. I mean, the cameras, they're quite robust. I mean, they're quite quite nice looking. It's a shame they're not wide because I, I'm actually fitting these on the on the fisher board that's outside my house. So I don't think they do a wide version in this particular model. They're not bad. I mean, quality wise, I only set up yesterday, I would say. The quality is nowhere near as good to say as the digital camera, but th these are intended to record on a, on a long loop, so you're, ne you're never going to get the best quality out of them. They are, they are 720 H 720 um, HD, so they're not, they're not bad quality. They're a lot better than what you probably see on TV these days. You know, old videos of crimes being committed. They're a lot better than that, but they're not amazing, amazing quality. Night vision. Again, I only said it last night. I looked at night vision, and night vision wasn't particularly great. I mean, I, I've got one of these set up in my garage, and the garage is actually quite good. It's obviously black and white in night time, but when, on my driveway, it wasn't that good. You could see probably 10 meters, but after 10 meters, the visibility was quite poor, so just bear that in mind. I mean, this this particular model cost, I think it's 185 pound. I have seen them around for 250 pound, but you should be able to get for around 180, 85, 90 pounds. I mean, so it's it's not an expensive um, CCTV kit, so you're never going to get the best quality. So in terms of fitting, obviously, it's a bit of a string setup. So obviously, once you you join the the the, the, the big cable, I'm trying to find the big cable. 
obviously the cable goes together like so and as you can see you obviously connect the red one to the red one and the yellow one to the yellow one but that, that one twists on obviously once that's on and yet the other end goes the other end goes to the box so you put the yellow one in one of the channels the channel one for example that goes on and twists around and the red one actually connects to the separate power supply as I mentioned you get with this one you get actually eight splitters so you can fit another four cameras if you wanted and that actually then connects so the red one then connects to one of these so just bear in mind you have to have two power supplies for this particular model so as the boxes and power the cameras so it's a bit of a strange setup this is the first time I've ever had a CCTV kit so so that then connects to that so that's obviously your video and this is your power supply which goes to another power supply separate set power supply so basically one plug can power eight cameras with this particular model as well I'm not sure if you can actually the cameras don't have microphones so if you want something with sound these don't have sound but I'm pretty convinced that you can buy a separate microphone as it's got it's got eight audio ins here as you can see most um, DVR boxes don't have these or they might have one just it's one audio eight but there's, there's eight audio in so I'm presuming you can buy a separate microphone an independent microphone connected to that and then use use the power supply from the plug to power, power the microphone because obviously the box doesn't power anything it's just a in so the box only powers the box nothing else so you can probably use the the splitter here which powers the, the cameras to power a microphone hopefully you can I'm not 100% sure you can but I'm presuming since it has got eight audio ins that you can fit eight microphones if you wanted to I'm, I'm gonna buy a microphone in the next week or so and see if it works so hopefully it will work the microphone should be exactly the same way basically you know your microphone audio in there and then you connect it to a power supply such as the camera's power supply here so hopefully that will yeah, work um, the box turned on and one thing you should know is that the box isn't silent unfortunately as I don't know if you can hear on this but it's got a fan inside and it's not it's not loud by any means but you can clearly hear it which it's a little annoying so if you're thinking of installing this in your bedroom you might want to think again because this has got to stay on all 20 or 24 hours you want 24 hour security so just bear in mind that this box because it's quite a cheap system obviously it hasn't got the best tech inside so I, d I don't know why it's got a fan to be honest because basically inside is probably just a circuit board and a hard drive so why it's got a fan I don't know but it's not exactly a high-end computer inside so but it's got a fan so just bear in mind that it does make a humming noise it's not particularly loud but if that was in your bedroom it probably would annoy you or even in your living room I've got this set up in my dining room so another thing I should mention it doesn't come with a HDMI cable so you will have to buy one of those separately um, it does come with a mouse with a mouse here's a mouse there's the mouse it's not, like I say there's <laughs> a real cheap and nasty mouse this just helps you set up the menu you don't, you don't really need it but uh, like I said you can you can connect this thing up to your computer I actually did connect it up yesterday and I mean it's, it's it was a bit temperamental to be honest whether it was my computer or whether there's the box I don't know but I did get it working but it kind of worked on and off so uh, it's probably my computer as it's pretty three or four years old now so but you know you can connect it to your laptop and your smartphone so in terms of the actual the menu system it's, it's not great I mean the box actually says it's, it's been designed for people with no prior experience but it, it wasn't particularly easy the menu system but it's, it was okay it wasn't too bad I don't know if you can actually see the TV screen there I've got two cameras set up now as you can see this one by here is my garage and this one's my, my driveway so th this particular screen here has eight, eight mini screens obviously I've only got four cameras but you can change that you can change it to one big one as you can see there I don't know if you can see the quality on, on this camera now, but 
the quality is pretty good. I mean, it's nowhere near as good as a digital camera, as I say, a 150 pin digital camera, but the quality is pretty good. I mean, you can have four screens, which I will have when I install the two blank screens for the other cameras, as you can see. So, I think you can see the screen there. One's there, the driveway, one's the, the garage. I mean, and that, that's recording 24 hours now, as long as the box stays on. Or you, or you can just have one big screen. Let's get rid of the menu a minute. Like I say, the, the menu's not brilliant, in all honesty. It's a bit fiddly. Nope, get lost. You can see you can make it bigger, smaller, eight screens, one screen. Like I say, I'm going to actually run a, a big HDMI cable from this box through my dining room into the main living room, so you can see on the on the on my main TV screen. Like I said, it's not not too difficult to set up, but the men, the menu system isn't brilliant. I mean, the hardest thing by far is all the cables and. I mean, you're gonna have to drill, like I said before, you're gonna have to drill a big, massive hole. You know, I, th I think you're gonna have to need at least a, a 20 mil drill bit. I'm not sure. You have, you have to check that yourself. That's probably gonna cost you, you know, 10 to 15 pound. The, the cameras themselves. I mean, the box is pretty basic. Like I said, it's it's not silent. It's got a fan inside. I don't know why, considering it's only a hard drive and some circuit board inside. I mean, hard drives these days don't need, don't need cooling, but I suppose it's, it's a cheap box at the end of the day. It's only £185. A, a decent CCTV system is probably at least four, five hundred pound. A really good quality one. I mean, the cameras, they're nice actually. They're good, kind of good weight to them. Not not too heavy, not too light. Good solid metal. I mean, like I said, the quality, the quality is pretty good. It's not amazing. Nighttime vision, as I said earlier was a little bit disappointing but maybe that was a smart you know I think the street lights as well were interfering with it but like I said the hardest thing by far is getting these cables if you're gonna install one of these outside which you probably will these are waterproof as well you know they can withstand the rain it's getting these things through like I said earlier if you just get some tape you just have to make sure you drill drill holes the hole you drill is big enough for this moldy thing to get through which is annoying. Like I said earlier, if you just get some tape and tape one piece of these backwards, tape all the ends of these up so no dirt gets in them. Like I said, just get some metal wire, some gardening wire, some bendy but rigid wire, tape that to that and then just push it through and you should be able to feed it through the hole. Hopefully that's, that's the idea anyway, that's how I did it. It wasn't too difficult to get it through the hole, but installation will probably take four cameras. I reckon, if you're not experienced in DIY, I reckon it's going to take you at least five, maybe six hours to do a proper job. That, that's basically it, the, the Pro HD CCTV kit. Overall, it's a pretty good kit. I haven't said it completely yet, but overall, it's good. Thanks for watching.